Peggy 12. Everything about the game is unique. Forgotten Sands for the Wii has exclusive storyline, exclusive environments, has exclusive mechanics. It's made from the ground up for the Nintendo Wii. The game comes from a rich heritage. We wanted to keep the feel of the game right. What is a Prince of Persia game? You know, the essence. Acrobatic moves, combat, puzzle solving. We knew we had to have those elements. The game had to look great. It has a steady frame rate, about 60 FPS. And this is very important for a Prince of Persia game because the Prince is moving fast. You know, you have to have fluid animation throughout the game. Prince of Persia games are known for the intricate level design. We wanted to give the player some freedom, but still have intriguing environments that will be fun to navigate. In combat, we use the motion control. In sword attack, you swing the Wii Remote and to make punches, you use the nunchuck. There's a grab and throw move, there's a finishing move, a tornado attack where you can spin around and attack all the enemies. One of our design challenges was trying to find powers that could only be done on the Wii. The prince will be able to use sand powers. There's the uh, sand ring, which allow him to create rings on walls so he can climb up higher or and reach uh, otherwise unreachable areas. The second one is the sand pillar, so he can elevate himself. And the third one is the sand sphere, which he can use as a, a jumping platform and safety net. All the powers are used by pointing at the screen and selecting where you want to use the power. Each power in itself is fun, but when you chain them one after the other, that's when I, I get the biggest thrill. So all these new sand powers can also be used uh, in combat. The sand ring, for example, can be used to freeze an enemy. The sand pillar will propel enemies in the air so that the prince can attack them. And the sand sphere is more of a defensive skill. I think what the people love about the Prince is the way it's not just about fighting, it's about using the environment to overcome challenges. We came up with a mantra or a design principle which we call create your own path. We want the player to be able to navigate his environment in different ways. So he can use his powers if he wants, he can just rely on his acrobatic skills, he can use uh, one of the alternate paths that we, we have hidden in the game. If I want to explore upward here, I can do that and maybe there's a secret area and there are a lot. When we thought of co-op, we wanted something where a big brother would be able to play with his little brother, little sister. A second player can jump in whenever he wants and help the first player who is playing the prince. Slowing down enemies, slow traps, uh, drawing path on the screen to indicate, I think you've missed a secret area over there. We nailed the Prince of Russia feel and experience. We took the time to build a high production values, high quality game, a high caliber action adventure game.